Welcome to Arab Industries. I'm Sean. Uh, today we're going to introduce the uh, MC355 uh, low profile 15 ton class scaler. This particular machine is 88 inches high or 2.18 meters. It is 86 inches wide or 2.24 meters and a length of 240 inches or 6.2 meters. This vehicle is uh, highly maneuverable and uh, compact. We chose a non-articulated design uh, in a four-wheel steering configuration. In two-wheel configuration, uh, is a turning radius of 60 feet, and in a uh, four-wheel steering configuration, it is uh, reduced to 32 feet. The engine is a Cummins uh, QSB uh, 4.5 liter, you know, 160 horsepower configuration, and this was particularly designed in a uh, 50 plus centigrade underground mining conditions. At the rear of the cab, we have the uh, rear outriggers. Then we have a storage area for the radio remote option. We have the main battery disconnect as well as the main battery. We have the engine uh, air cleaner here and a duplicate of that that we utilize for the uh, cab air conditioning system. We have the main fuse panel as well as the air conditioning system uh, mounted at the rear of the vehicle. The cab is a fully enclosed air conditioned and pressurized cab. It is ROPS FOPS protected. And you can see the uh, numerous uh, guards guarding the windows from falling debris as the operator is scaling. It is elevated for, to increase the viewing of the uh, operator uh, when tramming as well as scaling. The door uh, opens approximately uh, 100 degrees and that allows the operator to uh, uh, enter into the cab and he has full control uh, when he sits in the seat of uh, joysticks to operate the machine. The majority of the operation of the scaler is controlled through these joysticks. We also have a very uh, detailed uh, cab uh, dashboard and the dash contains the, uh, all the controls to operate the vehicle. The vehicle is CAN bus controlled and through that we use CAN bus switches. And what's uh, nice about the features in this scaler is that we color code all the controls. Blue is neutral, green is when the switches are on. We use yellow as a caution and red as a warning. We have a, uh, a steering wheel mounted for control of the steering system and a gear shift mounted on the column. We have various gauges and instrumentation uh, on the dash panel, as well as a uh, display for the camera system. We have a right size tramming camera as well as uh, rear backup. We have various gauges and displays for the engine vitals as well as the vehicle systems. We have some gauges for the service brake, the front and the rear, parking brake as well as transmission clutch pressure. This is a three section uh, 25 foot or 7.85 meter boom. And at the end of the boom, we have three different configurations uh, for scaling attachments. One is a manual pick, we have a breaker, and we have a rotating cutting head as well. And you can see from the side of the machine, we have uh, adjustable wear pads. We have various guarding uh, to deflect debris and to protect the machine's vitals. We have a, uh, a lift cylinders, we have directional control valve as well as turret mounts to eliminate the uh, working surface. At the very front of the scaler, we have the front mounted outriggers as well as the uh, optional uh, push blade. When we walk around the uh, side of the machine, we're exposed to a concave mirror for uh, backing up conditions, a side mounted uh, camera to allow the operator to view the, uh, the right side of the machine when tramming. As we uh, move rearward, we have the uh, engine access panels. These are completely removable for, for full servicing of the uh, engine transmission area. And underneath this panel here, we have our main fuse panel itself. Um, we have an area, a hinged area for access to fuel filter, as well as the engine dipstick. At the rear of the machine, we have the uh, rear outriggers, we have the rear taillights, 
as well as four-way flashers and backup lights. We have the uh, rear-mounted fire suppression actuator, and we have the fire suppression system, including the bottles. Uh, when the breaker uh, is selected, we have an optional water suppression system as well that would be mounted in this area. The RAD uh, is very big for 50 plus degrees Celsius operation, and we have mounted within the shroud, we have a, a backup camera. We also have work lamps, rear work lamps, as well as a uh, beacon mount, and tow hooks, uh, as well as the rear exhaust. That was an overview of the MC355 Scaler. For more information, uh, please visit uh, Arva Industries at www.arvaindustries.com. Uh, thank you very much.